Hello everyone. Welcome to Lecture Maker Training Module. This is Ivy of Dowelsoft. In this first part of our training module, we will learn about the basic features of Lecture Maker. So here we go. The basic things that we all need to know about Lecture Maker are its interface, which is very similar with Microsoft PowerPoint, its create and edit slides, its slide setup, slide property, designs, layout, template, run slide, slide navigation, and the slide master. So first, let's have a look at the interface of Lecture Maker. What you see right now are the screen components of Lecture Maker. In the uppermost part of the screen, you can find the menu bar. And on the left hand side of the screen, you can see the slide window, which basically shows the slides which you have previously done. And on the lower part of the left hand side, below the slide window, you can find the view button. Now on the right hand side of your screen, you can see the object list, which conveniently shows you all the objects which you have inserted in your slides. This feature is really unique and very significant for making your e-learning content or your presentation. Lastly, the slide, which is just located in the center right in, up front of your screen where you directly work on. Now let's go back to the menu bar. In our menu bar, you can see the following tabs, which are the Insert tab, the Home tab, Control tab, Design tab, View tab, and the Format tab. Under the Home tab, you can find commands which probably are familiar to you if you have been using Microsoft PowerPoint for quite some time now. Because of the familiar features, it's really going to be very easy for you to just use Lecture Maker directly. In here, you can create slides by clicking on New Slides, or by just clicking on the existing slide, then press Enter. You can also copy and duplicate slides. If you're not satisfied with the slides which you have previously done, then you can just click on Delete Slide button. Next is the Insert tab, where you can easily drag or insert all your new existing files in your slides. You can insert images by just clicking on the Image button and then find the image that you would like to insert. Click on the image and then click on Open open button or just press enter then you'll have your image on your slide instantly. You can also insert video files, sound files, flash and others. Now let's go to the design tab. Under the design tab there are two very important functions that we need to know. The slide setup and the slide property. First, the slide setup. This function is the first thing that we need to consider before starting to work on our slides. Click on the slide setup button and then the slide setup property win window will appear. You can find the slide size which is size 3 to 2 and size 4 to 3. The 3 to 2 ratio is used for making e-learning content and the 4 to 3 ratio is used for making presentation. If you click on the arrow keys, you can find more sizes to choose from. However, 990 by 660 is the recommended size for making e-learning content. If you would like to change the size of your slides, depending on your preference, you can just click on the preserve aspect ratio to remove the check mark and then change the width and height in this portion then click OK. Next, let's go to the slide property. Click on the slide property button and then a window will appear. You can change the slide title, the color of the background and others. Now the most important thing in the slide property is the move to the next slide function. 
When making e-learning content, we need to remove the check mark on this part so that slides would just automatically go to the next slide without having to press the mouse or the key. Then click on this box and decide on how many seconds you would like the slides to proceed automatically. Then click on Apply to Slides, then OK. This function is normally done after making all the slides for your e-learning content. So under the Design tab, you can find the Slide Setup, Slide Property, which have already been discussed. You can also find various designs to choose from. Let's click on one. And you can find different kinds of layouts where you can write on. So click on the Add Title and start writing on it. You can also find very convenient pre-made templates which consist of various interesting themes to choose from. Next, let's go to the View tab. Under the View tab, you can view the slides which you have previously done. You can run the slide by clicking on the Run All Slide button or Run Current Slide button or press Function 5 or F5 or the Run From Current Slide on the view buttons found below the slide window. Another special feature of Lecture Maker is the navigation buttons that templates come with where you can easily move from one slide to another or view the previous slides and the next following slides. Under the View tab, you can also view the Slide Master which consists of the Title Master and the Body Master. The Title Master is normally the first slide and the Body Master starts on the second slide. Or you can view the Slide Master by clicking on the Slide Master of the slide window which goes back to the slide and then if you click on the slide again then it goes back to the Slide Master. If you would like to have the same objects on all your slides then you can just go to the Body Master and insert or copy the objects you want in it. So that is all for the basic features of Lecture Maker. It's so easy and it's so convenient to use. For more details on Lecture Maker, please visit our website at www.dialsoft.com.